Hello and welcome to part three from East Coast Rep Rap Fest 2022. Still some more to look at, so let's get to it. But again, before we get started, give a huge shout out to Printed Solid for sponsoring my trip out here to the East Coast of the United States. Still a lot to go over, so let's get started. So we're here with Recreator 3D with... Josh Taylor. Josh, and... Uh, part of GR, uh, JRT3D.com. Okay. What do we have here? All right, right here is the MK5 kit, and we're trying to make this into a universal kit. So right now we've got a Robin 1.2 nano board in this, but it is created around an Ender 3. So I really want to start trying to save uh, e-waste, and we're going to try to change the industry into trying to have the mentality that uh, the more that we make Ender 3 clones and you know keep them cheap, that the, the average person is going to start to use that to learn. And so if they're buying that on Amazon, they can easily return it if they're not doing it correctly. And that just makes a whole other uh, avenue on eBay for um, companies that are selling that. But it really opens up our project to be able to get all that material that you need to be able to create a recreator, like the hot end, a motor, an LCD, and the power, as well as the driver board, for under about $100. So, so you're taking basically an old Ender 3 style V-wheel bed flinger. Yep. You're taking old plastic bottles yep. and you're reusing them to turn them into usable PETG filaments. Uh, just PET filaments. So correction. it's going to yeah. just be a it's raw just PET. It is. Uh, so one of the good things about actually having the glycol not be in it is we've started to, uh, originally we were 3D printing our mounting bracket out of PETG, but we did find that the pultrusion process actually Pull, pulled everything forward amongst melting it. Uh, so because the PET actually can go up to printing temps of 260, anything below 255 won't really melt it, which is really cool. So we're only pulling at 210. So it's a really robust material amongst holding heat and holding being pulled forward. Okay. So we no longer have any stretching going on and, and no breaking. So what kind of bottles can you use for this? So for the most part, you should be able to use most standard PET bottles. Okay. Uh, we're going to get into different bottles that have different miscellaneous shapes. And for the most part, those uh, shapes can be refined. We're going to pressurize our bottle, uh, and then we're going to twirl it uh, over a heat source. And okay. so amongst the expansion, it's going to pretty much straighten out our bottles just like how we would. Um, so that is an extra time and effort as far as what you're putting into the process. But some bottles do really need it as far as being able to be stripped into a eight millimeter uh, diameter filament. So we really wanna focus on our ratio as far as our math goes. We're pulling most standard bottles are 30 millimeters in thickness, which translates to an eight millimeter width strip, going into a 1.75 millimeter-ish diameter. Okay. So I talk about ish, you know, because- It's not an exact it's science It's not an here. exact science. So there's a couple other pet poltruder groups out there because I'm not the one and only, and nor will I be the last, um, that are trying to aim for the, the golden ratio, again, of uh, perfect filament. Awesome. I like to say that this filament will never be perfect because of the process. Okay, if you but, try it, to but make it's it, usable. It's, it's usable. usable. It's very usable. It's 100% usable. Uh, amongst actually making it, though, you can easily jam the extruder or break the filament if you're trying to pull too much filament through the diameter of the nozzle. So my 90% is kind of like where I really want to be where I try to show my community members where they should go. Ultimately, I've done all the work where if you just follow my method, you will be making your filament at the end of the day rather than trying to redo somebody else's process for the umpth time. Awesome, and how much filament do you get about out of an average like two liter Coke bottle or something yep. like that? So a two liter Coke bottle will yield about 25 grams of filament if you're letting the machine pull it you should be able to get a little more out of the base and a little more out of the top, more around 30 grams. Um, so for like a standard one liter bottle, I've now gone from, um, when I pull through this, it's only pulling the middle of the bottle. So we're left with the tops and bottoms. So I'm trying to look into different methods to be able to refine our material and our waste so that, again, we don't have any more waste. 
awesome. we are really going into home recycling of, of our filament. Everybody wants to either recycle their failed prints, recycle their supports, using pet protrusion methods to be able to use this pet material in a cheap, effective way really allows us to even rapid prototype better. Um, especially if we can refine it into shreds and then we talk about flipping it over and using like an extrusion method with the hopper. Um, and that's where I really want to see the industry go rather than seeing another $200 Ender 3 clone, which I personally don't think we need on the market. <laughs> uh, I would rather them start to see $500 uh, shredders coming from China and, and focusing on that. So for my whole thing is I looked for uh, an, uh, a shredder that was like $1,500, which was out of the box shredding experience. The average person doesn't have $1,500. If they did, they're buying a Prusa XL. They're not gonna buy a shredder. And so I wanted to try to cut that price in half and, and as much as it still is do-it-yourself, it's still going to be the cheaper of the, the methods. Awesome. And where can people find more information? So I am all over recreator3d.com. I get about 10,000 views a month now. I'm primarily on Facebook with 4,000 members. We're on YouTube with 4,000 subs. Uh, I'm very active on Twitter. Uh, the community requested a Discord page. We've got about 300 members there now. But... Um, Again, I wanted to show that I'm not the only pet poltruder in town, so I made Pet Poltruders United, which we can see varying styles of pet poltruders, as I would like to make it more of a community effort rather than it's not just Recreator, it's not just PetBot or PetPol. We're all in this together in a united stance, and we can all learn from each other's varying methods when it really is so standard as far as pulling with a motor, and heating an extruder. Awesome, cool, thank and, you. And uh, yeah, oh. thanks to all my support and sponsors who got me here, I wouldn't have gotten here otherwise. Awesome. Cheers. Appreciate you. So we're here with Dice Design. Uh, they make hot ends, right? Hot yeah. ends and hot okay. ends and also accessories like filament sensor, nozzle, okay. and things like that. Okay, so what cool. do we have here? Here it's a high flow filament extruder, the Typhoon. It's a 2.85 filament extruder, and it can go up to 200 millimeter cube per hour. Okay. And that's filament? Yeah, filament. Okay. And you also have a pellet extruder, yeah. right? Here we have a pulsar, a pellet extruder. It can go up to uh, 500 millimeter cube per hour, so 2.5 uh, kilogram per hour. And we print the, the, the shark here with the pulsar. Um, in like uh, 12 hour. We also have our desktop extruder. So this is our pro extruder and Aten with the tungsten carbide nozzle. Now this isn't your printer, right? This no, this is our extruder, Aten okay. and nozzle. Okay. We also have the Artis filament extruder, uh, filament sensor. We officially launched the Artis today. So you can buy it uh, today, and this is a this is a mechanical sensor that follows the filament to detect if uh, it's you have a jam or a lack of filament. It will um, stop your print okay. instantly. So it, it detects the movement of the filament. It's yeah, not just it, a simple no, switch like most. It's movement and it's follow the filament. So. Okay. And is that compatible with all firmwares for printers? Uh, it's available uh, with Marlin, Marlin, and uh, Riprap. We got. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one.